this is a closed drainage system and this particular one is a JP drain. So this just means that while draining, it ends up in this collection device that looks kind of like a grenade. This piece here you can use to attach to their gown or their clothing just so it's not free hanging and pulling on their, their wound or sutures. This part is what is inside of your patient. It's just a flat piece of really pliable like rubber uh, and it has these holes in it so that the drainage can be collected in it, come through the tubing and end up in your collection device. So when it is inside of a patient and there is pressure applied, of course I'd be wearing gloves. I would simply remove the cap. I would empty it if I needed to, but I need to collapse the drain, put the cap back on, and then when I let go of it, it is negative pressured because of it being inside of the wound. And over time, and it can be four, six, 12 hours, however long it is, this will slowly reinflate and fill with whatever it is that's coming out of your patient's wound. And so that's why we check it every so often as it reinflates. And it may be fully reinflated, but not full of drainage. And that's okay. I think I always assumed when I was in nursing school, when it reinflates, it's full of drainage, but that may not be the case. It might be fully reinflated and only have 25 milliliters of drainage in it. Whether or not it's full of drainage, if it is uncollapsed, it is not serving its purpose. So I would need to take off the cap, empty any of the drainage out, recollapse it and recap it.